Good morning, good morning. This is Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, doing a little test pour for you today. I've been asked, asked, asked a couple of questions. One was, uh, what if you want to pour over um, a piece that's fully dry and that you don't like, asking me what I did or what will happen. So I am going to pour over a piece that um, I will show you. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to pour over this particular piece because it got put on an, um, surface that wasn't flat to dry. And as you see, it took a little, it took its own little journey around and all the paint sort of gathered here, which I'm hoping won't be too much trouble. So, of course, I didn't want to sell or gift this piece because it's basically was a big mistake because, you know, that's what's happened to it. So what I'm going to do is I have done it before. Sometimes it works out well. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, pouring directly on to a pour. So what I have done is I have wiped this over with a clean cloth, a clean soap cloth. This is a very fine super fine sandpaper and I have gone all over it just to probably just rough it up a bit with a very fine sandpaper. I'm not sure if it needs all that care and attention because I have poured directly over and it's been fine but then another time I did pour over and it cracked. So I'm just worried it's just where this is so thick here where the paint took its little journey. Um, I just thought that that might be a problem but to me it just adds a bit of another dimension to it so I'm going to pour over this pour um, because yeah it wasn't how I uh, wanted it to be so it did have all the tape on the back to stop the back of the painting getting um, you know messed up with paint it's just a masking tape and it's got my giant push pins in so those loads of people have been asking me about the push pins. Um, if you hop on to the link below at Cabriole Shabby Chic, they have quite a lot of them in stock at the moment, but they go really quick. They're the giant push pins and I hit them in with a hammer and then just w wiggle them out. So that's what I'm going to be pouring on. So that was one request to uh, let somebody see what happens when I pour on a pour. The other request was to um, swipe in gold. What would it come out swiping in gold? If you swipe in gold and it's over very light colours, then it your gold gets lost. It doesn't really um, add to the particular painting. But what I've found, if you swipe over in dark colours, it can add really lovely effects. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. I'm going to swipe over gold in darkish colors so that's another thing and the other thing was just quick quick demo because people ask me uh, all the time even though I I do have the description written under my um, each video is a description of how I make up my paints and my pouring medium and such and I've got several videos in a playlist of it which I will attach to this particular video so I've poured some gold in there as you can see there's probably about a centimeter and a half I do not measure anything it's all by eye this is um, burnt umber and I wanted to and I've added black a blob just literally a blob in there of black because I like it to come really dark chocolatey brown instead of pup, puppy brown so it gets really dark, rich brown if you add a blob of black in it. So it's just me and my little color, uh, custom colors. So, and then this is my uh, Montmartre Clear Craft, craft Glue, 70% glue, and then I add 30% of warm water and give it a really good shake or if I'm mixing it in a jug a really good stir and leave it for quite a while so 
I just add to each colour, I add about 50%, so basically the same as, as the, the paint first of all, and then just give it a real good stir. Um, it's no good me telling you, oh, you add X amount of ounces or X amount of grams, because every different paint colour, even from the same company, requires a different amount of pouring medium. So it wouldn't, if people that uh, stick right to the amounts that I told them and said, well, it came out all runny or it came out really thick because they think I've told them that particular weight and that must be what to do. But every single one is different because you like the um, metallics never usually need as much pouring medium because because for the reason they actually need to stay a bit thicker than all of your other paints because otherwise even they just sink and get lost if they're a bit thicker they seem to hold their place hold their own in the particular piece of work you're doing so uh, that would probably be a bit too thick for what I'm doing today with this gold vape so and you just really give it a good old mix there really well and like I usually do is I uh, make my paints up at least the day before with everything in them with the pouring medium in them and I just add and me uh, Helmar silicon just uh, one two yow too much one two two drops this it's you don't need much of that Helmar at all. It really works terrific with a few drops. It's real. It's just a game changer for me because I tried every single thing on the market for different, you know, the hair products and the different silicones. And for me, I just really like that. And it is an Australian product. So, um, but they do sell it in the US and UK um, on Amazon. And of course, I. Have the link in my drop down docs of the online store in Australia. So there you go, there's just a quick demo on me mixing these few paints to give you an idea. And you stir really, really well. Like when I first was learning to make up paints, I remember watching videos telling me to drop the silicon in and stir two times. Well, that now I've had so much more experience that just creates big globules of paint. Le uh, it creates globules of silicon left on finish work and big wormies. That's where you get the wormies from. So I'm going to leave that quite thick because I'm going to swipe with that and it needs to be thick. So there you go. There's the quick demo on those few things that I was asked to do. Oh, good. All good. So next stage, next stage of the game. So here we go, here we go, here we go. So again, this is basically another art lab day, isn't it? I might turn where I've got the big chubbly bit, sort of a bit of a lumpy bit where the paint run up the top. So I'm gonna actually try swiping down over the whole lot of this because it is for a basically for a demo, a demonstration for you guys. So I'm just going to, I'm not sure whether I should put a base coat over the whole lot. So I might just try to do this first. So it's just to put a color on the whole of the, um, whole of the bottom of it. Where's me? All right. Paint, I'll just, I mean, as you know, I do like going over with my fingers to uh, get the paint everywhere. Um, being a bit posh today aren't I well I'm just um, trying to put a coat on this yeah I've done I've done the pores where I've just poured directly over what was ever there and they have turned out fine and then I can remember a couple of times I've had cracks so that may simply be because the particular paints didn't did react you know not nicely together so I'm not going to worry about going over my very edges because I can fix that up after and I can also um, tilt over the edges. So I'm not too worried about that. I just thought I'd put a base 
to go over. So I'm trying to be a bit quicker for you because I don't like doing really long videos because I know that some people are just not, it's just not their thing. So now I'm thinking that maybe I shouldn't have done that because I'm going to use all dark colours. But nevertheless, I am actually going to just do straight lines, which is so unlike me because I never follow a straight line <laughs> in my life. Well, see, they're definitely not straight. They are wobbly, but it's sort of... I'm gonna, I'm not going to do, like, the snaky effect that I would normally do over my canvas. I'm going to do that bit of a wibbly-wobbly. Uh, so that was the navy. That It's, it's another custom colour that I make up. I have got a video in my playlist of custom colours, some custom colours, so there is one there. This is the... I think it's the metallic copper, but the metallic copper from Montmartre doesn't come in the two litres as yet, so I, I believe. This is the um, dimensions, and they come in um, different sizes and little tubs, but not in the two litres. So hopefully, hopefully that Montmartre will be doing those two litres in the... Um, Maybe the metallic bronze, uh, metallic bronze, and metallic copper would be nice. So we all ask them nicely. It might be a thing. So this is that uh, burnt umber and the the black added. Like I say, I would l ideally like to leave this overnight. To it just works better for me. I think it's that the paints just have time to uh, interact really nicely and I don't know, it just works better for me. So this might be an ugly one or it could be a, a beauty. Um, it's the other dark colour. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is that. This, is, this was the magenta and I added big big blob of black and it's gone into that real dark dark cherry sort of so I'm just going to put it in there because I think the gold might it might give a nice effect with these dark colors with the gold over them well I'm hoping so if not you know it's it's an experiment so it saves you guys from wasting the paint let me do it it's not that much paint really when you think of it because you have so much pouring medium in there which is a lot of water too okay I'm gonna leave that just like that yep I'm gonna leave it okay because I want to do the demo with the darker colors so I'll just give it a little bit of a tilt up and down nice and gently just take your time relax and reflect that's what I like to do. Your art room, your therapy room. It's good cheap therapy is this, I reckon. It is cheaper than going for therapy, should I say. Uh, come on all, play nicely with one another. Let's give that a turn. Take it down the other end. Remember, there's no rush in this. Just try and keep it nice and slow and relaxed. Otherwise, that's where you can sort of end up having a wobbly happen. So there's especially no hurry when you're not filming something. You're just doing it in your own time. It's all good. Don't worry about the edges. They can all be fixed up really nicely afterwards. nice and slow so I hope you guys are all um, safe and well and re you know I know it's very hard for some people coping with the isolation and the changes in rules that we've got in in all the countries that's I suppose that's our only saving is that we're thinking that everybody's in the same boat it's not just me it's everybody so 
kind of got to there's nothing we can do about it is there very lucky in Australia because we've had less than 100 deaths which 100 deaths is far too many but we you know that's very good compared to some countries um, and we have now had re relaxing of restrictions in Australia in that you can go to a restaurant up to 10 people so this morning I was out early to my my country town where I live in Queensland, Australia, Karoi. It's a beautiful town, beautiful, friendly people. I love my town. So I went into town to my favourite coffee shop in town is Jamaica Blue and had my beautiful coffee and um, a poached egg with avocado. And I was felt like I was, oh, I felt brilliant because I was actually out having a nice little meal my breakfast for me cooked for me put in front of me so nice anyway start up shop shut shop battle shut up babbling jilly and get on with the pouring sorry about that guys okay this is me nice oh this gold in the Montmartre studio acrylics it's just glistening absolutely gorgeously I'm gonna put a nice big thick layer I don't normally like a swipe too thick, but I'm going to put, uh, but I'm going to do this one because I just love this shimmer in this and I'm hoping that it will add to those dark colours and make them shimmery. Is that a word? Shimmery. Got my 50 swipes, just a soft plastic uh, file divider. It's got a little bit of weight about it, so it does. I just find it perfect for swiping. It's another thing by trial and error. Oh, I've missed a bit there, but that's absolutely fine. All oh, that shimmer of that gold is just, just gorgeous. Oh, oh, wow, oh, look at that. It's kind of lacy, lacy, lacy and racy. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure if you're getting this, people, but the sh shine, the shimmer from the gold is just beautiful. And now you can see that really deep aubergine dark cherry with that gold. Oh, it's pretty good. Yes, swiping with gold is pretty nice over dark colours, I can tell already. That is super duper super okay wonder wand pops the air bubbles helps bring up the cells oh that is lovely so nice Oh my goodness, I love it, love it. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> I still feel so excited. Yep, when the cells come up and the, it's glistening and there's lacing and the cells as well as lacing I'm yet excited like a teenager but I've got the wrinkles and not the pimples um that is it I don't know I'm gonna try and bring you in down on this absolutely gorgeous flipping gorgeous and the heat one just heats the paint slowly it doesn't burn it like a butane torch could um, and of course it's definitely not as scary and it's a lot safer to use oh that is absolutely lovely really lovely i'm very very happy with that to that gentleman that asked me about swiping in gold thank you 
for asking me to do this. I remember swiping in gold before over blues, but that is so lovely. Oh my goodness. It is just the sheen on it from that uh, gold is just lovely. So I'm going to come back after I've left this for 15, 20 minutes. And my little idea to do, I mean, it looks perfectly fine like this, but I'm just going to embellish along the very top. I'm not going to touch the bottom. I'm going to just embellish along the top, but there would be way too much paint on there at the moment. So I just allow it to sink into the canvas a bit and I'll go around and trim my edges finish my edges but that is really lovely and I will take some photos with my phone now to put photos on the end of what it looks like at this particular point in time but very very happy with that that is gorgeous 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 Okay guys, I'm going to see how just a little bit of embellishing at the very top in the gold reacts. It still might be a little bit on the wet side, which I think it probably will, but... Oh, my balloon! Oh, yeah, it's going down before my very eyes. Okay, let's quickly do this. <laughs> now it's going down. Oh. I've not had any luck with balloons. They've been bursting just as I'm about to put them on the... It might be telling me something. Yes, I can hear lots of you shouting. It might be telling you something. Don't balloon this one. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not a smoker either. And... Oh, <coughs> takes my breath. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Just, just at the top, only at the top, ladies and gents. <gasps> oh, yes. Just along the top, that's all, she said. Just want to bring those other colours out that are under there. That doesn't see, that's just the brown that's under that one. I might have to move over with another colour. Just keeping it at the very top. Okay. Nope, that's it. That's it, guys. I'm going to step away from the canvas. Somebody slap my hands, please, please, please. Let's step away. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I am, this is, it's got this gorgeous lacing. It's just shimmering. It's got the gold and that bronze colour or copper colour, whatever it is. It looks good. There you go. Gold swipe over dark colours. Stunning. I think it's stunning. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks so much for subscribing. If you could hit the subscribe bell, I'd be really appreciated. It costs you absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, please give me comment and let me know what you think of that. Um, be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves yourselves so until next time uh bye for now